Hey guys, Noisy Boy here, and I'm back with part 14 of my Bloodborne Let's Play. Um, and we're going to go chat, tackle Yar Hagol. Hopefully, I uh, pronounced that right, the Unseen Village. Um, I've actually been tinkering around for these last couple of days trying to see which weapons I could, uh, I actually wanted to use because I don't mind the uh, rifle spear. But it has its weaknesses, so it's it's still only plus five. But I actually got the Ludwig Holy Blade, Ludwig's Holy Blade. As you can see, it's actually boasting a massive physical attack, especially with this one too. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's boasting 160 physical attack plus 140. It's I got it to plus 6, and as you can see with the Blades of Mercy too, I put that to plus 6 too, because I've just been tinkering around and playing around. And while I was trying to get all these up and uh, get the Bloodstones and stuff, I actually went to Yahagol. Probably should have uh, actually uh, filmed it, but uh, as you can see with the Holy Blade, and it requires 16 strength, so I actually put a few um, of my, I was going to say souls, but uh, Blood Echoes into strength just so I can get it. It does scale B with strength and C with um, skill, and the rifle blade scales with C with skill as well. So I'm gonna just try and use this weapon. When I first saw it, I actually preferred this one over the blades of mercy and the cane. So, but the rifle spear has its um, has its moments of glory, you know. So uh, I might just take it with me, especially in this next part, because it's actually a really good weapon to use in this next part. So as you can see, it's um, my Holy Blade's boasting a 281 attack rating and my Rough is only 184, so it's still doing a fair whack of damage, but uh, the Holy Blade just shits all over it. And as you can see, it actually looks fucking cool too, doesn't it? Two different forms you can use. It's got a very good uh, basic move and it's uh, a fairly standard reach, so we'll go and use this one, shall we? So where I am now is at the Cathedral Ward, and in order for you to actually get there, or if you haven't been there, you got to come around here, and there's actually a, a sack dude in the corner. He's just over there. One of those guys is supposed to come over and kill you, and then you get transported there, so... Okay guys, so once you get killed by that dude I just showed you, um, he'll pretty much take you down here. Uh, be aware too that you'll lose all your souls as well, and you'll end up down here in Yahagol. So um, this is pretty much, this should be like a cutscene, this is pretty much a prison. So what you want to do is make your way out. Of course nothing's locked. Um, now a lot of people have a shitload of problems down here. And this is, you know, it's, you can't blame them. This is a very fucking scary part of the game. I wanted to come down here and actually tackle this part first. Probably not the whole thing in this episode. Bad men toil serpentously in rituals to beckon the moon. Uncover their secrets. Yeah, a lot of people... I've actually, The only reason why I didn't uh, show myself being killed is because when I was tinkering around, I came down here to... Sh um, this is like a good spot to farm... Um, Let's listen. In the name of the healing church, cleanse us of this horrible dream. <laughs> yeah, so this is another NPC we're going to have to release. So, uh, yeah, so I just came, I've, I've already been down here only because I was tinkering around with the other weapons and trying to get them up to see which one I suited me for what I wanted it for in, um, Nice, and uh, what I actually wanted, so and the one that I actually liked the most and I thought would be good for my playing style was this sword, so you don't have to use this one, I was actually going to go with the blood, um, with the, um, those blades that uh, Aline uses, but uh, let's have a chat to this NPC. Oh, please leave me, babe. Don't worry, girl. Don't take me, please. Oh, please. Please leave me be. Don't take me, please. Oh, please, dear God. 
So pretty much what you want to do is you just realise that she's just not talking to you at all. <gasps> Please leave me be. Don't. Oh. One thing you can do is just change your garbs. Oops. Run, man. To either the black or white healing church ones. So I'll just change to the black one. <gasps> By your garb, the healing church. You've got to save me. Oh. Thank you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this, at least. Madman's knowledge. Be sure to please an upstanding member of the church like you. Oh, thank you so much, dear gods. Thank so you, you just want to so keep much. checking, chatting to her? I was seized on the street by a hulking brute in the cathedral ward and locked up here. There were many others, but they've been taken away. And I've heard moans echoing in the distance ever since. Wow. So, the hunt is on tonight. Then the streets are perilous and every door will be shut tight. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that might take me in? Now she's one of the good ones, so well, I hope she is anyway. So we're not going to send her to Yosefa's clinic because we already know the shit that's going on down there. So we'll send her to the chapel. Oh, thank you so much. And you want to send her there too, just because she has benefits as as later I on. I pray for success on your hunt, kind hunter. And I'm pretty sure that's the end I'll of her. As as yeah. Kind. So that's another one that we get to send off. Change my garb back to my hunter garb. So yeah, I've been pretty much just tinkering with weapons. I was going to go with uh, those little daggers that that girl uses, that other uh, NPC. So, but I didn't really like them. I did like them, but. I didn't really like how it was used. You can use them if you want. Not, it's not really something I was wanted to do, so... That was pretty freaky, doesn't it? So, once that level's done, we should probably go upstairs and unlock the... the... lamp. So you want to just be careful when you come up here, because there's one of these big dudes down here too. He's usually hun hanging around these stairs. There's the lamp right there, which is the one you want to unlock. And as you can look, have a look at that. How cool does that look? Some big ass dude with his foot on this dude here. Another one of those dudes in the chair. Looks like a kid. If you have a look at this, as you can see, I've already killed him already. Nightmare rituals hit. Crave uh, a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing harrowing cry so we've got that pretty much sorted there so you want to unlock that lamp so you've got that lamp to just go straight back to you just have to remember to there's one of those little spider thingies that give you bloodstones and shit I'm gonna take this guy out now just so we don't have to worry about him later so I'm gonna switch to my spear and just show you how I usually take care of them he does that little uh Wait for them to get close enough that you can actually... Oh, not like that. Watch out for that little move there. And you got to watch out for their little power-up that they do. Come up behind them. Pop them. R1. Put them down. Now, I know I made it look easy, but it's not as easy as it looks. So just be careful, as you can see, twin bloodstones. I was down here farming them before when I was playing around with my weapons. So that's that dude taken care of for now. Just remember there is another guy up here as well. He walks around the steps here. So we're actually going to go down a level and clear that area too. Actually, I'll go back to the spear. Comes in handy. Now watch out for this part here. Yep, that's a freaky ass mother. Run across. Turn. And hit that charge. If you're lucky like that, you can take them both out at the same time. And they give you pebbles, obviously. There's usually an item down in the middle there too. 
But if it was up to if um if you're going following what I'm doing, I'd rather go this way. Actually, guys, hidden down here too. Take care of these dudes as well. Lead vials. There's actually, another two guys down here as well. So you want to be very careful. You want to try and draw them away, one at a time. And you want to bring this one into this room. I find this way the easiest thing to do. Fuck, they're pretty freaky looking though, aren't they? Wait till he gets pretty close to the door, then bolt it to this side. Or not. Get back here. Ah, embarrassing me here, cuz. Get in here. There we go. Let him do his little moves. You just want him to get just inside that door so you can hit him with that charge. Again, run up with the charge. Let him do his thing. Hit him again with a visceral. Bloodstone, and it gives you two as well, so this is a perfect place to, uh, you know, farm this shit. Walk up to here, get to about that pylon and charge. Oops. Oops. Again, come up behind him. Hit him again. Now, like I said, it, it does look easy, but if you miss that and fuck that up, they're going to put you down. Bolt paper, you can farm that here too. Not rare stuff, but uh, can be a bit, of, a bit annoying. Uh, you don't have to go down there right now. There's actually a boss down there that we'll come back to later on. Um, but we will grab everything else that's on this level. Um, as you can see, those two witches we... Oh, witches. Those two little things that we came down here and killed. They look like those witches from the Hemwick place. They probably are. But, uh... And there's, this guy's holding an item too. Just another little shortcut thingy. You can come at them from this side. I found it coming from this side a bit harder. Um, so you put those dudes down. I think there's an item on that guy, I think it was. We'll unlock that door in a sec. So that's pretty much this level cleared, apart from that little boss area down there. Like I said before, I like to clear level by level. So we've gone down there, that's where we came from. We picked up the NPC, cleared that level we were just on. Now we're coming back up here to where the lamp is. And there is... One of those little bitches. Just make sure not to fuck with them. If they get you, they'll slit your throat and you're pretty much done for, dude. I'll come out to this area again. One of these assholes again. The big pigs. Come on, B. Oh. Oh, fuck. How did he get me? Okay, so I don't know how that fucking pig got me, but he did, so fucking asshole. Yeah, rectal exam, buddy. Gotcha.
behold a pale blood sky I don't know if you remember before we were talking about they were talking about how they were searching for a pale blood now I think they actually meant the moon and these guys are doing rituals to beckon the moon so it's probably just me being crazy but I think that might be the whole reason why they're doing this shit is because of that so I think we've got ourselves a couple of dogs to take care of let's just see if I can uh So you know the trick, rifle spear, oh, wrong one, let him do his thing. Now I was kind of hoping those dogs would come first so I could take care of the dogs first but uh it's obviously not the case this time so let's see if I can just put these dogs down like this maybe I can get these guys one at a time as well oh fuck you come up the other side the prick oh well got them both down together Here's one of the benefits of that weapon too, is it's got its uh its little arc going. Um oh, that's everything. I thought I missed something. Gotta get some items down here, unlock some shortcuts as well. Twin bloodstones, nice. Frenzied cold blood, nice. And this just takes us to this part again because we're going to come back here a bit later. Huh, that guy's still twitching in the corner there, can you see him? Anyway, that's that part unlocked. Make our way back up here again. So yeah, you know, it's just uh, we'll just try and unlock a few places here. We probably won't fight the boss until the next video, but uh We'll just have a look and see where we what we got. So that's that unlocked. We came from there. Yep. Is there anything down here? I think there was an item down here. Oh fuck! Forgot about that guy. Almost forgot about him, so we got that up. Pretty sure there was a door. There we go, another door. And that is just to the lamp, shortcut to the lamp. It's exactly what we need for later. Should almost forgot about that little thing. I guess I'll move. Um, check up here. See what we got down here. Oh, item, nice. That's about it. Can hear another one of those fucking pigs going again. Also, fucking some more dogs. Oh, damn it. Um, this is another shortcut for later. I don't think it works now. Nope, not shit. As you can see, there he's just waiting for us. Go up here first, have a little tinker. It's a place we can just jump off if you want to. Um, we want to try and kill this pig first, try and lure him away from those dogs. So we'll bring them over here, just so we don't have to fight those dogs and those pigs at the same time. 
it's anything behind here. Nope. Let's just see if we can uh, aggro this pig first. All those dogs. Try and give this guy another rectal exam. Sorry, buddy. He doesn't look too comfortable, does he? <laughs> Couple of blood vials, sweet. See if I can aggro one of these dogs, maybe. Oh, fuck. Yes, no, maybe. Can you see me? Come on, buddy. Tell your friends about me. Yep, suck on that. Put two of them down. Come closer. Old yellow. Ah. Got some of my life back from that. Put him down. Looks like there's another one behind the statue as well. Ah, fucking missed him. Fucking little bastard. I'm pretty sure there's another one I saw hiding behind there. Yep. Eat that. Now this can be a bit of a problem too. As you can see there's one of those sack dudes and a couple of dogs up here as well. So you just want to be careful not to try and aggro all of them because then you're going to have real problems. Oh fuck. Oh, looks like I've got the big guy on my tail now, eh? Let's get him from this angle. You go Super Saiyan if you want, mate. It's fine with it. Some more Bloodstone Shards. Now that wasn't too bad, is it? And you can uh, check on the headpiece. The headpiece isn't too bad either. It's just like a hood. There's a little uh, iron butt on the front. It does look very cool. Um, but I probably will just go back to the fire one. Um, where was I at? I don't mind that hat. I do like Gaston's hat. Combined with the Char Hunter's Grill. So, yeah. Very interesting. A few interesting things like what is in these what is in these chariots? Why is this hunter bringing this chariot here? There's just so many unanswered questions and a you know it's obviously not the full truth is being told in a lot of ways so and hopefully we can uh, find the truth. So it can't be opened either. So anyway guys, I'm pretty much just going to go back to the uh, lamp, level up, oh, that's also things that I'll just talk about. My leveling as you can see, I'm on 20, 20, and I had, to, I had to bring strength to 16 just to get the weapon, skill on 25 still. I want to get vitality endurance to 25, but I should probably start putting something to blood tinge. I've pretty much um, decided between blood tinge and arcane that I'm going to put up blood tinge instead of arcane. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put it up to yet, but our guy's progressing pretty well. I'm going to work on Vitality first, so I'll probably put Vitality up maybe to 25 at least, and then maybe come back for the boss fight. Um, so yeah. Well anyway guys, if this did help, 
and you like this uh, video please give me this thumbs up because I love those thumbs up comment and maybe even subscribe and as always guys stay noisy